Who is the victim? Is it you or me? Is it what we do or is it what we see? Hey guys, Nick Davis, your personal hypnotherapist and life coach. And uh, welcome to another one of my bite-sized um, videos again. Uh, I've had a few emails and a few discussions with a few people. And it was suggested that I should do a video on relationships. And in particular this uh, topic. Why do I keep going back? Um, this is not for people in happy relationships, this is basically for people this time of year who might not be in a relationship and maybe um, have uh, gone backwards and forwards to a relationship that was no good for them. Um, so I've decided to record this video to help, help you guys out, um, for those of you who um, may be a bit lonely, new year, new you. Okay? So firstly, um, what, why do people keep going back to relationships that don't work? Um, in previous videos, we've covered the drama triangle. We've got the persecutor, the victim, and the rescuer roles, and how people are in those relationships that basically don't work. And why would anybody go in a relationship where they're not feeling good? So, what I did, I wrote down a list of core beliefs that people have to have in order to perpetuate a bad relationship. So, one of the beliefs that they have to have is, I'm not good enough. So, they have to believe on a core level that they're not good enough. So they go back to this relationship that's no good for them and almost thinking, better the devil you know. The second thing is that they don't feel they've got any confidence. So they think that it's better off to be in this relationship because the hard work that it would take to actually gain another relationship, going out, meeting people, talking to people, getting people to be attracted to them and developing that relationship, and going through all those sticky moments that you think where God, what if this person doesn't like the way I eat, the way I talk, and things like this? So, you know, that, that, that's an important core belief. Another core belief is nobody else will want me. It's, some people have described this to, as to me, I'm the kind of last person on the shelf, or I'm the last sweet in the, uh, the, the sweet tin. Um, and if you believe that no one else will want you, hey, guess what? That will become your reality. So, looking at another negative core belief, why would anybody want to put up with me? So some people are actually going around thinking that their behaviour, or they've been led to believe that they're such a, I don't know for want of a better word, such a horrible person that nobody else would want them. Also, um, another core belief is I've got nothing to offer anyone. Now this is another negative, a limiting belief that people have. Um, I've got nothing to offer anyone. I mean, this is crazy, you know, nothing to offer anybody, nothing at all. But some people actually believe this. They think they've actually got nothing to offer anyone. So all these beliefs can be things that people think on a maybe deep and conscious level, but after questioning, I'll pull these beliefs out. Um, that these are things that they actually believe about themselves. And when you believe those things about yourself, hey, guess what? That's your truth. That's the way you behave. That's the way you talk. That's the way you react. Now... As with everything I do, I don't like to just talk about the problem. So what I've done is devise some solutions for you. Any of these beliefs can be challenged. And this is um, a lot of the work I've been doing at the moment. Challenging people's limiting beliefs and changing them. Getting people to believe good things about themselves. So, the solution. Okay. Um, so just some questions I've written down to really provoke you to think about the way you think about yourself. Number one, if you don't love yourself, how can you expect anybody else to love you? The way you treat yourself is generally the way others will treat you. And unconsciously, people will behave like that towards you. Number two, if you don't respect yourself, how can you expect anybody else to respect you? Again, the way you treat yourself is the way other people will treat you unconsciously. If you accept a certain behaviour a number of times, it becomes an acceptable habit. Now, some people that might be three times, and some people that might be six, and some people might be 20, some people might be 30. So if people are behaving towards you in a good or bad way, and you accept that behaviour and don't challenge it or do anything, it becomes an acceptable habit. So you end up putting up there that behaviour. And, you know, I've seen relationships where people will say, oh, why do you let such and such treat you like that? And they go, ah. Oh, They've always done it. So, you know, it's really important that if you accept a bad habit from somebody and you've not challenged it, then that person will just accept that behaviour is okay. Number four, this is the real crux. So, so firstly, learn to love yourself. And loving yourself is just looking at yourself in the mirror and just saying, look, 
I think I'm okay. You don't need to go into these crazy affirmations that some of these books tell you and say, I'm wonderful, I'm a fantastic human being. That's nonsense, it doesn't work. If you can actually look at yourself in the mirror and just shrug your shoulders and say, do you know what, I'm okay. That's how you begin to love yourself. You look, begin to accept yourself. Begin to respect yourself. Begin to do things for yourself before you do things for other people. If you don't look after yourself, and you know, I always say to people, it's like a battery. You know, you need to look after yourself first. Get rested, eat good food, get, do exercise, you know, think positive thoughts. Fill yourself with positive um, things. Surround yourself with positive people. Then if you respect yourself, you're gonna have so much energy and so much more to give other people. So respect yourself. Don't accept bad behaviour, challenge it. Accept good behaviour, make those good habits. And the other thing is, if you want to meet somebody else, and this is the crux, people have said, what should I do, I don't feel uh, this, that and the other. Go out and make some new friends. Don't go out to find a new partner, that's crazy. You know, you're looking for an outcome, and if you've got all these old behaviours kicking around, make some new friends face to face. A lot of people spend most of their time on Twitter, Facebook, Bebo, all these websites where you've got no tonality, you've got no physical interaction, you can't tell what facial expression someone's making, what body language they've got, or their tone in the voice, and that's why so many people fall out on Facebook, it's a, it's a phenomenon now that's rife, you know, people are saying things to each other and falling out because they've got this, we, we seem to be losing the ability to talk face to face, so I, I say to people, get out, meet people face to face, learn to communicate, develop a new hobby where you have to mix with other people, pastimes, uh, join some clubs, classes and things like that. And it's possible for you to get out there, practice your communication skills, and start believing the opposite to this. Start saying to yourself, write this down and leave it next to your bed at night, and read it before you go to sleep. I am good enough. I am confident. People will want me. I've got so much to offer. And people will be happy to be in my company. Write those down. Write them on a little bit of A4 card and read them every time before you go to sleep. The more you say them to yourself and the more you picture yourself being that good person, being that worthwhile, worthy person, loving yourself, respecting yourself, getting out and meeting friends, you'll be surprised how quickly you will develop as a human being. You'll feel much more confident. You'll feel better about yourself. You'll meet new people. You'll have more opportunities. So I hope this has helped. Like I say, it's just a bite-sized video just to help a few people out there that have responded to me on email and just hopefully you guys will get something out of that. If you know somebody who's in this position, please forward the video on. Um, it's just some free information that I'm giving out in order to help people have a better year. So what I would say to you all, have a fantastic 2010. If you need to work with me, you, you, you know, you've got the website and the, um, the telephone number, it will be on, um, on the end of the video, so please, you know, if you need to, contact me. If you don't, have a fantastic year anyway, I wish you all the best for 2010. Thank you. Who is the victim? Is it you or me? Is it what we do or is it what we see?